Keeping it local this morning, the old Minder Binders in Tempe has been totally renovated and is now called the Social Hall. Steve Nielsen is there this morning checking out the revamped restaurant. And Steve, I see in the monitor you're doing. Oh, there we go. A little ping pong table tennis. This is pretty good, right? This is pretty good. Impressive. Yeah, we're playing a little ping pong right now. And uh, this is easily the best rally we have had, Mike, isn't it? Oh, by far. Wait, oh, boy. I can't, uh, we can't just, like, start the hit. Oh, <laughs> I knew I was going to mess that up. Um, so this is Social Hall here, right? Yes. So this is just a great spot. Um, but I think the first thing we got to say about this, this is in Tempe, is if you were an ASU kid back in the 90s, the 80s, this is a very different building than you probably remember. This was, I mean, this totally. was a big spot out here. Yeah, right? this was a really iconic spot. It was called Minder Binders, um, and it was the spot to be 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, and um, there was a family that took the place over after it had shut down for a decade. We ended up taking it over from them, and we tried to bring it a breath of new life by calling it Social Hall, doing a full remodel, and making it a fun spot to be for, for the college kids and everybody in the neighborhood. Yeah, and you got a ton of fun stuff here, too. you got uh, cornhole in the back here and everything. We're playing ping pong. you got games in the back, too, behind oh, yeah. the bar on the inside. And what I absolutely love about coming out here is the reason we're here this morning um, Usually when we come out to a business, they've got some sort of thing going on or they got a big celebration. No, we're here because you had a customer reach out and just say, this place needs a spotlight on it. I love this bar and I want you guys to do something with it. How cool is yeah, that? It was really cool. I mean, uh, when you have a customer reach out with nothing else other than to say, we love your spot. We're bringing all our friends here. We found our new neighborhood home. Um, it's the best feeling in the world and then to go a step beyond and say hey We want to reach out to the news and talk about how great you guys are. I mean, it, yeah, it's the best feeling ever All right, we got to get back to ping pong while we're talking. Okay. Here, all right. Here we go. We got to keep doing this We're having too much fun. All right um, So we were talking about first off We got to tell everyone where you're at here if they don't know mind your binders. So yes, this, this is um, McClintock and University here, correct right next to ASU and um, I love the name social hall Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, it just kind of describes what we are um, really simply because we're a full service restaurant and bar, um, but really more than a traditional restaurant. Instead of <laughs> coming in and just sitting and eating, um, eating, drinking at a table and leaving, we have games, we have um, different areas to go hang out in, um, different ambiances. Uh, we do tons of date nights because there's things to do and different places to, to hang out. Yeah, it's fun and, and lively. Keeping active when you're talking with someone. Exactly. So it's them. a very social atmosphere. Um, I would not ask everybody to play ping pong with me while I interview them live on TV. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I could tell immediately you were up for the challenge. Oh, yeah. And you have succeeded mightily here. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what do you want people to know about this place? Um, open seven days a week. Uh, we have really, really great food. Um, like I said, it's a really fun date spot. It's a great spot to come out with friends if you're looking for just a little bit of a different dining experience that has more going on than just eating and drinking. Um, and yeah, come check us out. We're a really fun spot. Now, I promised I would keep this on the DL, but I changed my mind because of the answer after. But you may or may not, may or may not, have spent a little bit of time at U of A back in the day. Yes. We're going to ignore that, though, because you said you're an ASU fan now, right? I'm, yep. I'm, I'm transitioning over, yes. <laughs> How has that transition been? It's actually been pretty good. I yeah. mean, I really like ASU. It's always kind of a struggle when they're playing each other of knowing which one I'm supposed to cheer for, but um, whenever they're playing anybody else, I always cheer for ASU, and then I'm kind of like, I'm torn between the two when they play each other. After 70 to 7, you've got to transition at this point, right? Yeah, I think I'm getting yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Well, hey, thanks for having us out here this morning. Great job on the ping pong. I wasn't keeping score, Ty, but I think, uh, I think Mike won. Let's just be honest. There was a couple of like big time whiffs here. Yeah, there were. There were a couple. I, we were keeping score back here, yeah. and you definitely lost, Steve. Oh. But you're a winner in Thank our you. eyes. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> No, I'm impressed though. Playing ping pong, doing an interview, that's, that's some talent, my friend. Well, I didn't do much. I just asked the questions. That's He's the true. one who answered all yeah, the that's questions. True. That's yeah, the yeah, talent yeah. right there. Give credit where credit is due, right? <laughs> well, Steve, thank you so much. Looks like a fun yeah. spot in Tempe. We appreciate it.